Also now at six, a waiting game to raise a sunken vehicle from the end of the Virginia Beach Fishing Pier. Police are now looking for a connection between this and another case as Mother Nature puts a stop again to a recovery effort. This tragic story continues to be watched by the entire area. It has been a tough one for crews looking to recover a car more than a dozen feet into the ocean. The weather and waves have been uncooperative since the car went over the end of the pier Saturday morning, and it's expected to continue to be that way at least for another day. This comes as Virginia Beach police look at a possible connection to a missing persons case. Penny, your side's Chris Horn is back at the scene tonight. Chris. Yeah, and Tom, the new information this morning from Virginia Beach Police was that they have been contacted by a family who have a male relative with a set of circumstances and facts that seem to line up with what happened here Saturday morning when the car went off the pier. Meanwhile, we spoke with someone associated with the pier. They've seen plenty of recovery and rescue efforts, and they are not surprised by the fact that Navy or uh, police divers, I should say, and recovery divers are both being extra cautious. The two big questions surrounding what happened Saturday morning, and we will stop this video before the car goes off the pier, have been who and why ever since. But now a new question has emerged, when? As in, when can the recovery divers get down to the car and find whoever's inside? Peggy Hines has managed the gift shop here on the pier for 20 years. The slow pace of the Virginia Beach dive team does not surprise her. We have had a lot of rescues off the pier and around the pier. Mm -hmm. There are huge razor sharp barnacles all up and down those pilings out there. Um, if they got a diver next to it, they could get damaged or caught up on the barnacles. There are pilings that are down there that just fell over and nobody ever picked them up. They're just still underneath the pier. Hines says there are hooks, nets, fish line, and other debris littering the ocean floor right off the end of the pier. What we have heard is Thursday. That's the next time that we're going to have less wind because we're supposed to have wind again tomorrow and it's just too treacherous with the wind and the waves. Meanwhile, people continue to leave stuffed animals near a message of support for whoever decided to go hurtling into the ocean. We need to come together as a community and, and, and help each other instead of being like negative towards each other and you know, embrace everybody's different. Everybody's different. And as you heard, it sounds like it will be at least another day, probably not until Thursday at the earliest, when any kind of recovery effort can resume. Meanwhile, of course, we will keep this story updated on wavy.com. Live at the oceanfront, Chris Horn, 10 in your side.